This is what it's all about, big boy. Game six, three to two. We're trying to tr crown a champion right here. Trying to get the White Sox a victory, just like they did in 2005 for real. And we're about to jump in. We got two lefties in the lineup. I might switch them out, but maybe not. We'll keep it right there. We got Negro on the mound and we are playing at home. So let's see what we can do. Phillies and White Sox, it is gonna be good. We start off the first inning with a strikeout right there. Man, I'm excited for the real playoffs. Right now the Blue Jays and Orioles are playing. That game will probably be over by the time this video is posted, but check out that catch right there. That's never seen that before. Let's look at it from another angle. That it just kind of floats there. He kind of walks around it and then catches it. So that's pretty ridiculous. But yeah, these playoffs are going to be sick. Got some great, great teams, great players. Blue Jays always have that loaded offense. Um, and right there, you got that liner. Um, Orioles are kind of a surprise. Their pitching staff was kind of bad throughout the year. But they're a good team, well coached. And um, they can really do some things. But it is the wild card game, which means it's a one game playoff. So everything's on the line. And whoever loses goes home, obviously. And it's a nice extended play right there. We're trying to get this victory. We're trying to trying to bring it home for the boys. If you're a White Sox fan watching this, some very disappointing seasons recently. And hopefully if we can win this World Series right here, that'll be a little something for you. But they just fired Robin Ventura, or he uh, resigned, or he his contract didn't pick up. I I didn't even bother reading the articles about it, but nonetheless, he is gone. Kenny Williams is still here, though. And right there, he got injured on that play, the pitcher. So that was a pretty weak grounder, and somehow he still got injured. And uh, can't make the play. Probably shouldn't have dove on that one. And he's going to run for a while because Jimmy Rollins has some speed in 2005. Should have picked that up with the center fielder. And he's not stopping at third. We can make a play at home. But Giles doesn't have that arm. So that's an inside the Parker. And we are down 1-0 to zero in the fifth inning of game six. But right here, Al Kaline goes yard. So now it is tied up 1-1, one to one, 407 on the bomb. That's a deep corner right there in that left field left center field but he's got power for days and uh, yeah just messed that one up right there probably wasn't paying attention um, but the White Sox have put to put together some good teams like on paper I was really excited for a lot of these teams and the thing is like last year I thought the team made some great improvements um, and then coming into this year it's like all right they made even more improvements but it still didn't get the results after that first month, um, I mean, you could see it, obviously, like the bullpen was overworked. And even though we had one of the best bullpens in the league at the time, and that is a ridiculous snag and throw, but we did have the greatest bullpen in the first month. And then um, you could see that they were just getting so tired that it wasn't going to last. And obviously it didn't last. And we, we tanked the next 20 out of the tw next 20 out of the next 26 games. And we're never really able to recover. We got back to 500, I think, once or twice. But uh, it wasn't too good after that. And we even got rid of this guy, Adam LaRoche. Um, his, his contract was gone. He picked up Morneau for pretty cheap, I believe. Um, but yeah, we got some, some good players. Todd Frazier, obviously, he couldn't get anything but a home run. He did hit 40 of them. Um, Abreu had a very, very poor start, but ended up hitting 300-ish um, with over 100 RBI or 100 RBI, something like that. Um, but overall, the team was kind of disappointing. You know, obviously, we didn't even finish 500, so that's very disappointing. 
And wow, two plays in a row. That same thing, that same dive right there. This time he's safe. Um, but yeah, we, we expect big things from this team next year. Um, I think Rodon made some good strides at the end of the year. He, he should be a solid number three next year, I hope. I hope, because he can get some, some some major strikeouts. He had seven strikeouts to strike to start the game the other day. And we're going to warm up a couple guys. It's Nathan, my closer, and lefty as well. Um, that's a nice catch right there. And let's do it. It's the ninth inning. We are trying to close out this game for the World Series. And guys, just so you know, the last two days have been absolutely insane. I will have an update video for you tomorrow detailing a couple stories of what was just completely ridiculous. So make sure you check that out. Anyway, it's 1-2. We have the lead. Um, and we're going to try to win this one right here. Chavez with that nice over-the-shoulder over the grab. Let's finish this off. I'm trying to get the complete game for K-Line, but throws it on the corner, but he hits it right back in the middle. So time run is on base. Winning run is at the plate. And Troy Gloss, so he's a very good hitter. They put in a pinch runner at first. You gotta make sure he doesn't take a base on us because that's a very important run at first. Starting off with a ball is never good, but trying to get him to chase, trying to get that ground ball right there. That's a hanger, but he moved off the plate, so he couldn't hit that one. Yeah, so let me know who you think is going to win the World Series this year. Tell me about your playoff predictions. Um, I haven't really, you know, delved into my my thoughts about it yet, but obviously the club, the Cubs are pretty ridiculous. They, you know, they are very, very talented, and it's going to be very hard to beat them. But the Rangers are absolutely solid after pretty mediocre first month or so I believe um, once they played that so the Sox game um, where they came back after we were up by like five runs or something and they won that game that's kind of when the Sox started tanking and also when the Rangers started hitting and right there gave up the extra base so I moved up the tying run and the go-ahead run into a scoring position so that was not a smart move going all the way to third with that throw but it is two outs, and we're bringing in Joe Nathan. We're trying to finish off this game right here. Mike Lieberthal up at the plate. Ground ball to third. That is the ball game. That is the championship. World Series winners, the White Sox. It has been too long. It has been 11 years, and we've gone back in time to 2005, and we have won the World Series. It was not a sweep, a sweep like it was against the Astros. But it is a win the not what but it is the but it is a win nonetheless. And uh, that was pretty fun. First time playing MVP baseball in a while. And we came we came back from a long way down. We were a poor team. We made some big trades, got Bobby Crosby, we got Adam LaRoche, got a bunch of guys in there. We got rid of a few guys that weren't performing. And we were well under five hundred, made it all the way back beat teams in the division and we got to the wild card won that one game wild card game or sorry that was a four game five game series so we ended up winning that series as a wild card team and we ended up coming all the way to the world series so that was just an awesome run uh, this is not the most talented team although they're pretty good um and that was exciting that was very exciting it was great playing this game, and uh, I will have some more for you guys if you want. But we're going to shift a, a lot of focus onto some NBA games. I've got NBA Live, I believe 2002. Um, I already put a couple of um, one or two 2K games, uh, 2K5 for NBA, ESPN NBA. <clears throat> so hope you guys enjoy that. Um, we will also have NFL Street Volume 2, which was a sick game. I absolutely 
am very terrible at the game, but we're gonna play it anyway because it was awesome. Um, I hope to get NBA Street Volume 2 as well at some point, but I don't have it at the moment. And as you can see, all those things right there. MVP was Albert Pujols for the World Series. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to start up another season and see what happens. But if you guys like this video, if you guys are excited about the playoffs coming up, um, actually started now, um, let me know. And if you want to see something specific in terms of a video game, um, let me know. I will also be doing a video on MLB The Show 17. What what should happen for the next game coming out? Um, and just some basic things about that, my thoughts about 16, what can be improved, and uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you. Like and subscribe, check out the next video right there, and I will see you soon.